I don't know what you're talking about. What's your opinion? Yeah. It and then uh, now you're now, in there. Now you're in there, huh? People have been educated. I, you have you? Have they? Do they know? I don't know. All right. No, I real. think they know all about nothing. Hello. What's up, man? Viewers. Everybody. This is day four. I don't know. I can't. I can't even do fingers. Can't count. Right, so where we left you guys off last is we were doing this Shirokai wide body kit for this Challenger. As you saw last time, Kyle and I had bolted um, with self-tap screws this entire wide body kit to the car. Since then, Kyle has done a little bit of work. He's installed all of these rib nuts all over the car. Kyle also went ahead and cut three of these corners. He cut the two front fenders and cut, welded, and sealed it together with paint so that it does not rust. Major key, you always wanna do that. Work left to do for us. Um, we still need to cut the passenger side quarter panel, so that's what we're gonna show you guys right now. We have both sides of the wide body kit. This is the driver's side, and then the passenger side, right here. All bolted together. All we have to do is cut that passenger rear quarter, um, touch up a few of the rib nuts, show you guys, and then we're gonna be done with this car. This car is then gonna go to the body shop, get all the body work done, wrapped, and then we'll meet back up when it's done. Let's get to it. Again, if you guys like these series of videos, this is colonized for the video of us doing projects until we literally can't anymore. Right, Kyle? I'll still be working either way. I don't know if you want to video them anymore. Right. So comment down below. Let us know how you guys are liking this. If you guys are in Southern California and you want us to work on your car, any wide body work, any custom work, carbon fiber work, coil over install, bag install, whatever you need, lowering springs, we'll even, whatever it is, hit up Kyle's Instagram. Ooh. It will be on the screen. And if you if you guys haven't followed me yet either, my Instagram will be on the screen. If you guys haven't if you guys haven't followed us, I don't know what you guys are doing with your life. And if you guys haven't already, where are my oh, keys? No. Here's the plug. Here's the shameless plug. We gotta do it in every single video. The Gen Gang V2 key tags. If they're still available, go ahead and pick yourself up one. Gen Gang V2, we it says Gen Gang on the front. Hashtag respect the build on the back. Link will be in the description, or you can click in this, the right top hand corner over here, it'll link you right to the page. We have them in red and in black. Yeah, shameless plug. Always gotta do it. And it's uh, just working out over here, working those muscles. Yeah. Just kidding. All right, so I left one rib nut here that needs to be done. Yeah, we'll so show people you. can see the rib nuts tool. In. This is what we've been using to install the rib nuts. And uh, what did you want to tell people about rib nuts, Kyle? Uh, just kind of show people what it is, what the what we use them for. So that's a rib nut. Hold on, I can't even focus on this. Zoom okay. on my nasty fingers here. I'm sorry. That's a that's a rib nut. So what this is doing is kind of riveting a nut that into your panel, so you don't have to use the nuts on the back side. Um, so you don't have to get to the back side of the panel. Usually in the fender, anyone can get to the back of a fender, especially when it's cut. Uh, but you can't in the quarter panel. Um, but it also makes it easier to come, uh, take, be taken on and off, and you can get really nice hardware to go with them. Right. Uh, so so we, this, this is what they look like when they're inside the panel. Said, we're going to show you one said rib on the nut. outside. Give, yeah, give that rib nut a good, uh, give it a good nut, Kyle. No, that's not. Give it a good pull. Oh, huh. well, no, pull on the nut? Pull, pull, pull your nut. <laughs> uh, you can see that this has got little ridges going this way all around around the flange. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know either. Yeah, you can. Yeah. So that's what's gonna be able to grip to it when it squeezes. So we put this in the panel and we squeeze. Yeah, see that? See how it squeezed it and it like pancaked so it right here? pinched it to the panel. Oh, oh, hold on, we're not focused. Okay, so now we're focused. So this pancake that you can see, what happens is that it squeezes it, pinches the metal in between there and essentially, uh, it's stuck there forever until you drill it out. Yeah, now they are easily drilled out. Um, you drill them out with the same size drill bit that you drill your initial hole with. I believe this one for five millimeters is nine thirty seconds, I think. Sometimes they don't work perfectly and you have to drill them out. So be careful when you're putting your screws back in when you're putting the kit on. Um, I've had to drill out a couple on this car just sometimes it doesn't pull in perfectly. Let's watch you nut this hole right here. Insert your nut. Wow. So it's a tight fit, that's good, because you want it to you don't want it to be sloppy in there. She's a tight fit, she's a tight fit. 
and then just squeeze, and there you go. And this one is pretty nice where you just pull it and it pulls out. Nice. Now you're in there. Nut, squeezed it, and then uh, now you're in there. Now you're in there, huh? People have been educated. Right, you, have you? Have they? Do they know? Yeah, they know. All right. Well, I think know, they know all about nothing. On to cutting, I guess. Right? Yep. Time to cut. Time to cut. And we're gonna start talking. We're gonna start working. We're gonna start cutting. It's time to join the yacht club. Also, with this boat. One more tip when <laughs> cutting on your car: protect yes. your windows. So most people don't understand um, how with metal. Yeah, metal dust shavings. shavings. Usually it won't stick to your paint. That's a pretty, that's unusual, but it will stick in to a windshield or window, window, side window, back window, window, really easily. Um, I've learned the hard way multiple times where I'm like, ah, it's, I'm just shooting stuff that way. Well, it shoots up in the air, will land on your glass, and then, and then it's got a little melted indentation. Right. Really tiny, but you can still see them. Right. So this is a fiberglass mat, mat just for welding purposes, welding and grinding purposes. Right. I've learned this the hard way as well. I think I told you guys this when I was installing my hood vents. I was cutting with my angle grinder and it was shooting sparks towards the window and it wrecked my windshield. Yep. So I've had to, done it the hard way as well. We're like, eh, it'll be fine. I'm it's shooting fine. sparks outdoors. It's not fine. Not fine. After all that cutting and Kyle spraying sparks everywhere and me falling off this stupid chair, um, this is the initial cut. It's ugly. It's ugly. This cut is gonna go all the way up to this white line, but the reason that Kyle is cutting it in sections right now is because of what? This flange. So one, we want to know, when we cut up to this section, we wanna know what's behind there. Um, and so I'll be able to save this metal for us to use later, which we will need to use it later for how I do things. Um, but cutting this flange off so that it comes in two pieces is a lot better so that because this is where it's seamed to together from the factory. So now we can cut this off in two different pieces and see exactly what we're working with. So yeah, that one's garbage. That's what it looks like inside. Yep, gross. Yep, gross. As you guys can see from that epic cutting montage of Kyle cutting this fender, what we, Quarter what, panel. yeah. Sorry, quarter panel, not a fender. Not a rear fender, it's quarter panel. As you can see from ah. this epic montage of Kyle cutting this quarter panel, happy. Good job. Kyle's cut this quarter panel and this inner wheel well. Kyle has stripped the paint ah. <laughs> off of this quarter panel and off of these uh, excess metal from the inner wheel well. We are going to weld this quarter panel together, completely sealing it so that no water can get inside. And then afterwards, we're going to paint these as well so that they don't rust. Major key when you're doing a wide body kit, especially if you're not in California or anywhere, you need to fully yeah. weld them and then seal it because uh, it's it not needs- not just for water. It's yeah, structure. Yeah. Structure, yeah, our cars are unibody. If you don't know what it is, look it up, but it means that uh, it doesn't have a frame. Everything's one piece. And it's all integrated, so it needs to have that structure back. Look at this is pretty flimsy right now. And I can push it and you can see it flexing a lot. Once we weld these back up together, this flex is gonna be completely eliminated and the structural integrity and rigidity will be restored, I guess you could say. Yeah. Back exactly. to this quarter panel. Okay, first though, we're gonna watch you weld. Not you as a, as a viewer, <laughs> but Tyler. Because this is so, funny. Uh, I, I fell off of this chair because Kyle's chair broke. You trying to kill yeah, me? Yeah, my here? $20 Harbor Freight chair. Hey, Harbor Freight, send me another chair. Right. 
Oh yeah, Harbor Freight. Send us uh, anything, really. Yeah. <laughs> you know, plug in Harbor Freight? Yeah. Tag them. Harbor Freight, chair. So yeah, the welds broke around here. It's probably my fault because whenever I sit on the chair, I sit on the edge of the chair. And yeah, it broke over time. No big deal. If you guys don't know, I'm actually certified to weld and I haven't welded in over eight years. So, so this will be fun. This will be super fun. Messed up, baby. Ha! Where do you want me to tag it? Anywhere? Anywhere you want to. This is, this is all you now. There you go. There we go. We're welding, baby. This is so bad. Do you see all these little sputters I got everywhere? Yeah. That's on fire. Let me see if, uh, that's on fire. Oh. Yep. Well, you're the greatest in the world. You're well. Compared to uh, whatever. Clap the room, I'm coming through. They wanna see what I'm about. Yeah, I got skills. Do it for the thrill. I'm on a paper route. Extra, extra, read about it. I'm today's trying to tap it. I put commas over bullshit. Yeah, I put that on one. Well, how was your first time welding in a long time? Does it make you eager to weld again? Yeah. It does. Look at here's the first seat test. Hold this, hold this. Okay. Check in my work. If you fall down, I'm gonna, can we all laugh? It's on. <laughs> okay, uh, see if it'll go up. But it won't, it's not gonna lock in place, huh? You know, sit back on it. I'm trying to count it up, hell figures. Don't be chilling with no l and if I do, I'll be real with them. Chase a dream, that's a mill ticket. ISO gang, yeah, they still with us. I put it in motion, they got me steady. Thoughts on my mind, it's wearing heavy. Watch how I shine. Tell them I'm ready, I'm hitting my foot. I've been here probably four days this week. This has been on the desk every single day. What is it? I'm going to see if Kyle will notice. You scaling my jerky? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. What jerky? Yeah, I'm hungry now too. What were you asking me over here? Were you stealing my jerky? What jerky? For anybody who says that I didn't do anything in this video, that's a lie. I welded this chair. I broke my chair. I didn't break it. There's no jerky here. <laughs> you ate my jerky. You're a dick. I didn't eat your jerky. I didn't even take a single jerky out of there. You just hid my jerky then? I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> he said let's do it. So, you're up, senorita. Yep. Vent time. Speaking of vents. Is it an event? An event to watch you find your jerky. Oh, you hid my jerky in like that, the place here? You hid my jerky? Well, that sucks. It's going to be nasty probably by the time I find it. It might be. <laughs> oh, you put it in the vent. Ha! It's a good thing. I, I, I know, I, if I forgot about that, you would have forgot about that. Yeah, just driving like, down the road, I'll get sucked in the engine somewhere. All right, so I'm cutting out these vents. Yep, you said yes. Vent time. Vent time. All right, so it's 10 o'clock at night. I just got all of the fender vents cut out. They look pretty good. Obviously, they're going to need some sanding because I just did the initial cuts with the Dremel. I am still, as you can see, grinding away over here, welding. I am done in uh, one minute or less. Uh, I'm done. Done. So this is the nastiness that is before. Yep. And this is a normal, but this one had uh, a lot of weird metal structure back behind here. Right. And we had to cut, cut up a lot of different ways, so I had to make a lot of different patches to get it back in there. But now we're gonna grind it down a little smoother, make it look presentable. But at least right now it's solid. It's solid all the way around. See that, the structural integrity again on this? Remember, I could push that before and it was flimsy. Now that's 100% solid. Super solid up in there, and I uh, just gotta clean it up, and I'm gonna undercoat it, and be good to go. Nice. This is what it looks like. And all you uh, professional, nice TIG welders and all that out there, sorry, it's not so cool. Gets the job done, though. It 
if anyone that does weld knows welding really thin metal sucks. And when you're patching really thin metal, it's even worse. Right. And anybody knows what plastic in your eye feels like, it sucks. Well, why, why are you spinning it at your eyeballs? Kyle just got done grinding all this down. I mean, it looks pretty good right now. All right, so Kyle, we have the compressor on. It's loud and kicking, but um, what is the stuff that you're about to use right now? This is a rubberized undercoating. Um, sometimes I'll use actual what's called automotive seam sealer uh, and run it along the edge there, but I'm actually out and uh, I'd like to need to get this done tonight. So using this rubberized undercoating. So gotcha. it's good for metal, straight, protects from corrosion, and it's gonna fill up any little tiny pinholes that might be in my weld. Uh, so that we don't get any water up in it. So nice. no rust, no water, that's all we need. For all you noobs out there, when he said rubberized undercoating, he did not mean plasti dip. That's true. There's holes in those fenders. There is holes. Need some fine tuning now, yeah. yeah. A lot of, uh, I don't know why I did that motion. I think <laughs> <laughs> to uh, sand it, to smooth it out, even it out, be the best way. Sanding. To sand it. So as you guys can see, we have a bolt right here. There's a bolt right there. There's a bolt all the way in the back. And uh, he found this beef jerky. Oh yeah. <laughs> Vents are cut, bolted in, cut, seam sealed, done. Right, this side's completely done. Yeah, I got one bolt I wanna do on the bottom. Uh, oh, from for the this. bumper? Yeah. When my friends go, it was simple. When the ends know, switch the tempo. I got right, I got heart, I don't die, I'ma fight. I go down, then I strike. I go hard day and night, yeah. I go hard day and night, one to one, no surprise. See the hate in their eyes. My brother's butt money bleed. Uh, technical difficulties, they always seem to arise just as you think you're about to be done or you have everything figured out. Kyle and I, we had this previously bolted up, thing fit perfectly. Um, we put the rib nuts in here um, and the proper hardware in here, bolted everything together, and now we're dealing with some adjustments. It's 11.42, it's almost midnight. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. For the most part, we got everything knocked out on this car. Both the front fenders are cut, the rear quarter panels are cut, sealed, bolted the fenders to the car, mostly. <laughs> Side skirts installed, and um, this thing's gonna be ready to rock and roll, go to body work, and then uh, get wrapped. With that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below, let us know what you guys think of the, the Shirokai Wide Body Challenger Kit. Um, this kit's pretty awesome. Can't wait to show you guys this thing when it is done. For now. That's gonna be it. We're out of here. What if you roll to the end? What if you started again? This is real life, not a game. I find my battles to win. But some people gonna war for none. Me, I gonna war for some. Some people need knives and guns. Same ones just talk and run. Some people gonna war for none. Me, I gonna war for some. Some people need knives and guns. Same ones.